Now I will explain some examples which are related with mean and range. See here, a cricketer scores the following runs in 8 innings. 58 runs, 76 runs, 40, 35, 46, 45, 0 and 100 runs. Find the mean score. Here we have to identify mean score. Means we have to identify arithmetic mean score. Anyone say to you mean score or arithmetic mean score, both are same. We know the formula to identify the mean. See here, mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of observations. Which are the observations here? See so here, 58, 76, 40, 35, 46, 45, 0 and 100. These are the observations. So sum of all observations means 58 plus 76 plus 40 plus 35 plus 46 plus 45 plus 0 and plus 100 divided by number of observations number of observations observations means how many observations are there so see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total 8 observations are there so number of observations is 8 so sum of these all 58 plus 76 plus 40 plus 35 plus 46 plus 45 plus 0 plus 100 is 400 and downside 8. Now 400 divided by 8 is equal to 50. Now see here, 50 is not more than all observations. See, 50 is less than 58, 50 is less than 76 and 50 is less than 100. Also, 50 is not less than all observations. See here, 50 is more than 40, 50 is more than 35, 50 is more than 46, 50 is more than 45, 50 is more than 0. So what is the final conclusion? Mean is not more than all observation and mean is not less than all the observations. Means mean is available in mean. See here, now next question. Find the mean of first 5 whole numbers. Here we have to find mean of first 5 whole number. Which are the first 5 whole number? 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the first 5 whole number. See here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the first 5 whole number. And we have to find mean of these whole number. What is the formula of the mean? So mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of observations. Sum of all observations means sum of 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Downside number of observations. How many observations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total 5 observations are there. Now we will do sum of these all. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 0, then 10. Downside 5. Now 10 divided by 5, 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. So mean is equal to 2. So mean of the first 5 whole number is 2. Next question. Organize the given marks in a tabular form and find highest observation, lowest observation, range and mean. So here we will solve first question. Here first we will write tabular form of the given marks. See, 4, 6, 7, 5, 3, 5, 4, these all are the given marks. First, we will write these marks in tabular form. So, first marks, whenever we want to write in tabular form, so with marks, we can write tally marks and frequency. Now, marks, how we can write marks here? To write marks, first we will identify the highest observation. See here, 4, 6, 7, 5, out of these all, which is the highest observation? So highest observation is 9. You go through all observation, 9 is the highest observation. Lowest observation is what? 1. You go through all observation, lowest observation is 1. Now range is equal to highest observation minus lowest observation. HO means highest observation, LO means lowest observation. Highest observation 9 minus then minus Lowest observation is 1. 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. So range is equal to 8. Now to find marks, first we can write lowest observation 1. 1 then 2, 3, 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन हाइएस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन नाइन कम देन वी विल स्टॉप नाउ वी राइट टेलीवार हाउ वी कैन राइट टेलीवार ऑलरेडी यू लर्न इन सिक्स टाइम सी वन वन देन वन टू थ्री फोर डेज इन फिफ्थ विल कम then we will write in slang so it is a bunch of the five then next in this we will write another one another one in this way we can write carry marks now see here four so where is four four is here so one dash six so six is here seven so seven is here five so five is here three so three is here five again one more five then four so again five with four Five, so here. Two, so two is the here. Six, so six is here. Two, then two is here. Two then five, five then one, one then nine, so nine is here. Nine then six, six then five, five fifth came, so we write slant. Five fifth then eight, eight is here. Then four, so four is here. Four then six, so six is here. Seven, so seven is here. Now frequency. How we can count frequency here? One there, so one, one and two here. One here. See one, two, three, so three. Here it is a bunch of five. It is a one, two, three, four, so four is here. One, two, so two is here. It is one and it is one. Frequency means observation one occur one time in the given marks. Two occurs two times. Three occurs one time. Four occurs three times. In this way we can understand the frequency. Now highest observation already we identify. Lowest observation we can identify. Mean or uh, sorry range we can identify. Now we can identify mean of the given marks. Or we can say mean of the given data. We know the formula of the mean. Mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of observations. Sum of all observations means sum of all these observations. Four plus six plus seven plus five in this way all. And downside number of observations. So how many observations are there? See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So total twenty observations are there. And sum of these all observations is hundred. Means four plus six plus seven up to this seven. Sum of all these observations is hundred. Downside twenty. Zero zero cancel. Two one zero two two five zero ten. So five by one. So five. So mean. Mean of all the given observation is five. So this is the normal explanation of some examples which are related with mean and age. I hope you understand this. Thank you.